everyone welcome to today's video welcome to the gamer dad channel thank you very much for tuning in so today we're looking at elden ring and why i think this is probably from software's most important game now i have seen a lot of different sentiment I, I read a lot of reviews someone asked me in my last video who even says some of these things like i spend time on metacritic on forums and just you know listen to what people are saying about these games and it really does help to provide kind of a different opinion as to you know my own current uh, you know stance on a video game or whatever it is but here's the really interesting part when you say that this game is actually from software's most important game right now it's really hard for some people to envision that but here's the thing you see many people never necessarily appreciated what from software had done in their previous titles and the reason is straight because it's very challenging to learn a lot of those games in a sense you know when you kind of pick up bloodborne or you pick up dark souls you find out that man this is a crazy task i don't know if i can do this and many people give up i myself have actually put down two from software games that i picked up in the past and nothing would have ever made me go back and play them but now that I've spent a little bit of time in Elden Ring, guess what's been coming on my mind? Bloodborne and the Dark Souls 3 game that I put aside. Because now I've been able to spend some time with From Software game in Elden Ring, learning systems, mechanics, combat, and the way their games work. And now I want to take that knowledge to go face those challenges that basically deterred me in the past. You see, this is what's going on. Now, if you think I'm just coming up with this from my own personal experience, I recommend that you go ahead and look for players who are just picking Elden Ring up as their first game from the, you know, from software's plethora of games and see what they're saying. If you read comments under videos, under tutorials, you're going to see this same sentiment. More and more people are starting to gain this appreciation. So whatever experiment it was that from software decided that they were going to put in place, I think it's working. And what this means is the soul fans and even the new fans are able to enjoy future projects or future releases from this particular studio. Now, on the block, basically what the audience members, that's those who have been talking about, uh, you know, the other from software games, what many have alluded to in the past is that potentially a Bloodborne 2 game be released. You see, many people really enjoyed Bloodborne, and it was for those who basically were able to take their time to actually make their way out of the game and succeed. It wasn't necessarily the easiest. I have to be very frank with you guys. It wasn't the, you know, the most uh, streamlined experience for a lot of people. For some of us, we barely made it. We didn't even touch the game after like the first 20 minutes. But now that, you know, people are talking more and more about how they're enjoying Elden Ring and learning the different aspects of the game, I see myself welcoming a Bloodborne 2. And this is something where I don't believe that I'm actually saying these words a, a year or two years ago or maybe even a few months. No, last month I would have said to myself, I don't think I really want to play a Souls game. But now I'm looking forward to them and I'm going back to dig through my library to see if there are any ones that have been given, you know, through different free methods like PlayStation Plus or anyone that I purchased and then I just abandoned in some library gathering dust. And I want to see if my skill level is actually capable of picking up those games and being successful in them. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually something that we have to continue to look out for and even talk about in this particular ecosystem. So, for those of you who are, you know, kind of new to Elden Ring, tell me if it's actually been pushing you to probably go back and try those old games in the comment section. And for those of you who are veterans, I want for you to read and observe, and I think you're probably going to be surprised or pleasantly surprised with what it is that you see from other people commenting on this topic. So thank you very much for listening to the video and for watching. I appreciate you guys' time and audience. Hopefully we'll talk very soon. Uh, peace out.